YSU is poised to raise tuition starting this fall. Our Chris Arnelli learned what it all means for incoming students, including those coming from Eastern Gateway. Chris, good evening. Aaron, good evening. Yeah, the YSU Board of Trustees will officially sign off on this increase when they meet tomorrow. In the meantime, university leaders tell me there's a lot going on behind the scenes with the Eastern Gateway transition. In the midst of a marathon of committee meetings Thursday, YSU's Finance Committee passed a 3% tuition hike starting this fall. Current students will pay the same, but the incoming freshman class this fall will pay about $5,500 per semester. That rate will stay locked in for four years. YSU's undergraduate tuition will remain the third lowest in the state of Ohio. That's because all the other state universities in Ohio have reported their plans uh, to adjust their tuition by the same 3%. The committee also created a similar tiered tuition structure for a YSU location in Jefferson County, where the soon-to-be defunct Eastern Gateway Community College is headquartered. Incoming EGCC students will pay a bit more, but McNally says that's because community colleges have a different cost structure. President Bill Johnson told me a lot of thought went into establishing the new rates. We need to make sure that the people that would have gone to Eastern Gateway are not hit with sticker shock. Johnson told me some classes for EGCC programs are already being taught online. Other plans will have to wait until Eastern Gateway finishes its dissolution process later this year. It seems like nothing is happening at the same time that a lot is happening. We also gained insight into YSU's financial picture Thursday. Revenues are reportedly trending up along with applications. Credit rating agency Standard & Poor's also delivered some good news. They have reaffirmed our rating of A+, and obviously A+, is a very solid rating, uh, but more importantly, um, they revised our outlook from negative to stable. Signs of solid footing as YSU gears up for another academic year. With more local news, I'm Chris Serenelli.